Hey guys, so you might remember just a few weeks before the official announcements of iOS 17, Apple shared with us new accessibility features coming to the iPhone. And now in today's video, I want to show you how to enable this new iOS 17 UI. This is called Assistive Access, and this allows you to bring an entirely new experience and UI for your iPhone. It allows you to use a grid or a list view with larger icons, larger labels, an easier to use interface. And this is what it looks like. You may remember when I talked about this as you can see right here the UI is fairly simple you go into the camera you get you know the ability to take photos with larger labels and of course this is going to be an accessibility feature and I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through how to enable this on your iPhone if you want to use it or need to use it then I'm gonna show you how to enable assistive access directly on your iPhone running iOS 17 let's go ahead and dive right into this one now as always if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates of course so don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode so let me go ahead and show you how to set it up i'm going to set it up for the first time on this iphone 14 so you guys know exactly what it looks like when you go to set it up for the first time now keep in mind this is beta so bugs are a thing here so just keep that in mind now you want to jump into settings here go into accessibilities and at the bottom of the list you'll find the new feature there it is assistive access now you want to go ahead and click set up for the first time and you'll see a prompt here for setting up assistive access what it does and how it works you click continue it shows you some additional information in regards to family sharing and iCloud information click continue then you have the appearance where you can choose the role which I like to call the list view or the grid view let's go with the grid view this time around and then you can select the applications that you're going to be using now you can use all the apps that are installed on your iPhone including third-party applications or default Apple apps as well so we have the phone application here we can customize it as well I'm gonna go ahead and select everyone for contact access the mute button will be available the keyboard the speakers click continue here same thing with the camera so I'm gonna go ahead and enable all the features available for the camera same thing for the music and so on and photos of course let's go ahead and click continue here through all these prompts and I'm going to go ahead and select all contacts and as you can see right here you can set it up fairly simple this is a lot easier cleaner easy to use UI here and then you can set up third-party applications as I mentioned as well so yeah if you go through this list here and you have any third-party apps you'll be able to set those up here in this list as well so let me go ahead and navigate here through the setups process and let's go ahead and set it up directly on the iPhone 14 for the first time just like so once you're ready click continue and here's a few things you need to know before you proceed click continue click continue for notifications the volume button and all the access that we enable through applications confirm and then set up a passcode very important make sure you remember this I'm gonna set up all zeros just to remember it fairly easy and this is it all I have to do now is enter my Apple ID and I'll be set to go all right we're all set up with the email recovery access code and we can go ahead and enter the assistive access mode on this iPhone 14 now you only have to set this up once again guys it is buggy iOS 17 is still in beta but it is a nice UI I kind of like the way this looks this is the grid view as you can see right here some of the icons are not populated properly but if I go into photos here you see that it takes me directly into the photos I can go back with the larger labels I have the music here as well now Apple music isn't loading properly with this uh, new feature here just yet as I mentioned it is still in beta we also have the weather as you can see right here larger buttons easier to use UI I like this a lot actually because it helps me just stay focused on some of the things that I want to do instead of just having all these things directly on my iPhone I kind of like to use this feature actually for me personally every now and then it's just simplified no notifications disturbance no control I don't know nothing just simple UI okay so let's go into the photos here I can take a picture with the larger button as you can see right there I do still get notifications by the way now if I go into messages messages has been combined FaceTime and messages into one so let's go back to this iPhone here and set it up here let me go ahead and show you what that looks like here we go into the passcode and let's go into assistive access here let me show you the keyboard on messages if you're going to be using the messages application dedicated emoji keyboard and things like that so let's go 
gonna wait for this to load up here in just a few seconds and let's go into messages so as we navigate here into messages we can go into a thread here we can tap into the new message we have keyboard layout we have video selfie you can actually record yourself and send a video message as well so if you tap here you can also get access to the new emoji keyboard which is available with this mode as well as you can see right there but yeah it is a clean simple UI with large labels and large icons that I honestly I really like and enjoy let me know what you think about this by the way if you triple click the side button it'll give you the option to exit the mode you want to go into settings here as well you have the ability to go from dark and light mode you also have airplane mode options here you have volume text sizes a uh, bolder text options here as well again you have to triple click the side button one two three and then you want to exit by entering that passcode and it'll bring you back to iOS 17 as we know it so yeah that is a new assistive access feature on the iPhone that allows you to get access to a cleaner simple UI in case you ever wanted to give it a try or actually need this feature on your iPhone it is available as of right now still in beta still buggy but yeah it is available and I wanted to share that with you guys thank you for watching I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys on the next one peace